Dear students, welcome to the first lecture of trigonometry. In this, I'll teach you the basic concepts of trigonometry and very simple and easy ways to find the values of sine, cos, tan, etc. Now, bear this in mind that uh, the basic concepts of trigonometry must be at your tips, especially if you are wishing to opt for engineering or physical sciences, because there is hardly any question, any topic which is not linked with trigonometry. So let's begin with the meaning of the word trigonometry. So see here, tri means three, gun means side, and metry means measure. So basically, using trigonometry, we can find the ratio of the sides of a triangle. Try for three. So trigonometry is all about measuring the ratio of sides of a triangle. Now, which kind of triangle? A right triangle. Always remember this. Trigonometry is only applicable to a right triangle. See this? I have drawn all the right triangles. Next is a trigonometric ratio. Ratio of sides of a right triangle with respect to the acute angles is called a trigonometric ratio. So now, firstly, look at this figure. This is a right triangle at B. It has two acute angles, angle A and angle C. Acute angles are greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. So, the trigonometric ratio is the ratio of the sides of a right triangle with respect to the acute angles. Now, what is the ratio? You must be knowing like AB upon AC, BC upon AC, AB upon BC, etc. etc. These all are the ratios of the sides of this right triangle. So now what is meant by with respect to the acute angles? Let's understand with the help of this figure. Now in this right triangle ABC, let us consider the acute angle A. Now which is the side opposite to angle A? The side opposite to angle A is BC, side opposite to angle A. Which is the side adjacent to the angle A? side AB. See, side AB is called the side adjacent to angle A. Adjacent means next to. Now, you are seeing that this hypotenuse is also next to uh, the angle A and this side is also next to angle A. But we always take uh, the side other than the hypotenuse as the side adjacent to angle A. So, AB is the side adjacent to angle A, BC is the side opposite to angle A and AC is the hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the side of a right triangle which is opposite to the right triangle, right angle. One more important point I am telling you about the hypotenuse is that the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. Now, Let's see the names of different types of trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant and cosecant. Now, we will see what these trigonometric ratios mean. Listen very carefully. Let us take the ratio of the side opposite to angle A and the hypotenuse. That is side opposite to angle A upon hypotenuse. So in place of side opposite to angle A, we can write BC and in place of hypotenuse, we can write AC. Now this ratio is called the sine of angle A. This ratio is called the sine of angle A. If we consider the angle A and take the ratio of side opposite to angle A and the hypotenuse, then this ratio is called the sine of angle A. So here we can write sine of angle A. 
sine of angle A is equal to BC by AC. Remember, these are the short forms, these are the full names and these are the short forms. In calculation, we use these names. Similarly, let us consider another ratio that is side adjacent to angle A upon hypotenuse. So, side adjacent to angle A upon hypotenuse is equal to AB upon AC. Now, this ratio is called cosine of angle A. We can write here the short form that is cos of angle A. I hope you are getting the points. These sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, these are nothing but the ratios of the sides of a triangle and these ratios are called the trigonometric ratios. Now let's take another ratio that is side opposite to angle A upon side adjacent to angle A. So the name of this trigonometric ratio is tangent of angle A written as tan of angle A. Similarly, let's write the remaining three trigonometric ratios. Okay. <clears throat> So, cot A is side adjacent to angle A upon side opposite to angle A. Cot A is the short form of cotangent of angle A. Similarly, secant of angle A is equal to hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle A and cosecant of angle A is equal to hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle A. These are the short names that we use cot A, sec A and cosec A. So now I hope you have got the point and uh, understood the definition of a trigonometric ratio that is the ratio of the sides of a right triangle with respect to its acute angles. So for instance we have taken the acute angle A. So these are the trigonometric ratios. If we take the acute angle C then the trigonometric ratios will be different. But the meaning will be same. That is, if we, you will take sine of angle C, then sine of angle C means side opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse. Cos of angle C will be side adjacent to angle C upon hypotenuse. Tan of angle C will be equal to side opposite to angle C upon side adjacent to angle C. I have already told you this is if we are taking the angle C, then the side opposite to angle C will be this side and the side adjacent to angle C will be this side. So now it's the time to learn a very easy way to find the values of all these trigonometric ratios. So you just need to learn the value of sine A, cos A and tan A and these will be calculated accordingly. So you just need to learn sine A means side opposite to angle A upon hypotenuse. Cos A means this and tan A means this. Using sine A, cos A and tan A, we can easily get the values of cot A, sec A and cosec A. Let's see how. Okay, so cot A is equal to 1 upon tan A. That means cot A is the reciprocal of tan A. Similarly, sec A is the reciprocal of cos A and cosec A is the reciprocal of sin A. See this, cot A is the reciprocal of tan A, sec A is the reciprocal of cos A and cosec A is the reciprocal of sin A. Now, the last and the most important thing that is, I have already told you that if uh, written as sin A, this is read as sin of angle A. This is written as cos A and it is read as cos of angle A. You don't have to write only sin, okay? Sin separated from A is meaningless. We always have to write the angle with the name of the trigonometric ratio. Remember this. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and do like, share and subscribe my video.